Hello and welcome back to our radio show on 777 Cool Cats on the AM dial. Well, if you tuned in tonight, you tuned in at the right time. Because when you hear my voice, y'all are going to get the heebie-jeebies. Because it's time to hear about our scary politics. So as I came into studio today on my very own Bennett Mobile, I came to realize what this Prime Minister is actually about. Prime Minister Bennett, this guy's a sham. He's all wet. Why did he even vote for this cross? We should have just kept Mackenzie King as our Prime Minister, but no, we decided otherwise. Well, I can't, I can't blame you guys entirely because I voted for him too. Well, he brought our economy into depression, and what is he going to do next? Let the United States take over us? Come on, this guy's horrible. People are dying out here, and what does this guy do? Nothing at all. People are protesting, rioting, and pleading for help. But this guy is just going to sit in his office and do nothing. I hope he's thinking of a good plan, because if not, we're doomed. Hold on, we're getting a call. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. I have an idea. What is it? We should overthrow him and turn to communism. Look how well Russian revolution worked. We should do this. Let all rights be equal. Let us all have equal pay. First of all, I'm the expert here. Hold up, cut this guy off. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, look. The one statement he made about his campaign is he will get us through this. He has he wants to accomplish something. I trust him for that and I think he will. I may show true anger towards him, but I think a guy like him, a powerful man, he's a lawyer. He might be able to pull something off at the last minute and save us all. And if not, after we get through this depression, hopefully he'll have a plan for us so this never happens again. And I don't doubt him at all, okay? Man, I hate these type of callers. They have no idea what they're talking about. Well, this man may be a sham, all wet, and he might he might look like crust and dress like a dame or a rich man's muffin. But he overall stood his ground and hopefully he's doing all he can. He got us for vote for him with his amazing voice and take out Mackenzie. And hopefully he'll do something. Relief funds and minimum wage will be a good start, but if he doesn't do anything, hopefully he's on to Ottawa truckers will make will make him hear something because if they can't get anything, at least they'll be heard that we are mad. We're in a tough time right now, but we as Canadians have to stick together and fend through it ourselves. We can't rely on our government for everything, and don't start any political arguments with each other either. Leave that to me, and. Help your community, help everyone. We'll get through this. God bless. Oh, Canada. And now, a message from our sponsors. Tired of hand washing clothes? Mommy, they ripped again. No. Oh, I'm so tired of this. Well, now you can buy a washing machine. A what? A washing machine. It goes with your toaster. It, it's like a toaster for your clothes. It automatically washes them. All you need to do is ha dry them. And boom, you have sparkly new clothes in no time. Wow, how much? Affordable for all families. Wow, let's go get one right now, Jimmy. And now I'll hand the mic over to Fred Allen. Take it away, Fred. Hey everyone, Fred Allen here talking to you about the many different forms of entertainment that are becoming the berries of this decade. One big noticeable form uh, is music. For example, jazz, swing, and big band are all types of music that are getting really popular nowadays. An amazing big band leader is Benny Goodman, who is known for the song Sing Sing Sing, which is my personal favorite. Also a famous singer is Ella Fitzgerald, who will be performing live tonight at the downtown club. Music isn't the only b good entertainment form. Movies are so huge now that many people are calling these days the golden age of Hollywood. Some movies that are getting extremely popular are Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind. 
There are many popular toys uh, nowadays, for example, yo-yo steel planes and flossy flirt dolls, which are all a great, uh, great way to show your kids love by giving them presents. If you are a good dancer and want to make money, the people at Downtown Club are hiring competitive dancers to compete in dance, uh, dancing competitions. So this offer ends soon, so be prepared to show your talent. This offer ends soon, so be prepared to show your talent. Foster Hubert from Hockey Night in Canada will broadcast live coverage of the World Cup Baseball tomorrow, so be sure to watch it. The group of seven are opening an art gallery in this city, only for two days. They won't be here for long, so make sure you vi visit them. Many comedians are getting popular nowadays due to the depression we're in. People just want to have a good laugh. If you want to have a good laugh, then go, ch then go check out Charlie Chaplin and his best work like The Great Di Dictator and City Lights. Have you ever heard of winning $500 just by dancing? Well now you can at the new downtown club which just opened a week ago. There's still some jobs needed for example, flappers and comedians and dancers. This club's popularity status is in increasing very fast and many people like it. Let's let's ask one of the customers. Hey guys, Jimmy here and I'm a really good customer of the downtown club and I feel it's amazing. Everyone is nice and caring. I always have a good laugh when the comedians come on the stage. One comedian that cracks me up always is Charlie Chaplin. Well, there you have it, folks. That's just one customer's opinion. Think about what everyone else in the club thinks about it. It's free admission for women and and one dollar for men. Be sure to check it out. It's really amazing. If I do say so for myself. That's it for me and have a nice day. Bye bye. Listen closely for the best inventions of the ten last 10 years. First off, the barest way to make products fast and easy is the assembly line. Bosses worldwide will love this new invention because workers can be taught in a flash. Even the flattest tires can be higher. The pain won't be high because the workers only know how to do one job. The second invention might make your upchuck if you eat too many. Leon Lee Sternberger invents the Ritzy product that will be eaten by many. The delicious cheeseburger is the fastest and hottest thing on the market and puts smiles on the children's faces. Another great invention is the trampoline. Bouncing up and down for days keeps kids out of mischief. The local gymnast George Neeson invents a jumping machine consisting of two scrap pieces of metal and a broken rubber tire in the middle. You must have some bad, bad giggly water to be jumping anytime soon. Igor Skrzerfki, inventor, invents the high flyer. The first helicopter is the VS-300, which incorporates a single main motor and a tail motor design. Lizo Boro invents the ballpoint pen for writing. Don't get the heebie-jeebies because their writing will look like a mess. For the fastest written letters, forget the pencils, it's about the ballpoint pens. Here you have it ladies and gentlemen, the best inventions of the bee's knees from the past decade. Let's see what the inventions of the future will bring us. October of 1929 came as a shock to Wall Street and to the economy of North America as the crash of the stock market came as hard hits to both Canada and the United States. The relationship between the United States and Canada was never recognized as being so closely related when both countries quickly sunk into the Great Depression. Along with this economic apocalypse came a climatic drought which destroyed farmlands, dried up these lands and blew away the topsoil on many parts of the prairies. As some people have described, there are many dust bowls, so the crops aren't growing. Because of this, farmers aren't able to make crops and can't pay for their farms anymore, 
so the farmers walked out and are homeless. As well, many families lost their jobs and can't pay back their loans, so the government has took these people's houses and left people on the streets. It gives me the heebie-jeebies to think of all the homeless people there are right now in Canada. How could all this happen just from a stock market crash? These national emergencies were also met by the Bennett government with exactly the wrong combination of financial actions which triggered the slowdown in the economy. The government is all wet thinking that their actions to help the Great Depression is good, because it wasn't. And these actions were only recognized as being damaging by many of the people. Towards the end of Bennett's term now, where he finally blames deficit spending for stimulating the economy. What applesauce? Do you think we can come back to our old economy? It started with prosperity. Lots of money, credit, a good economy, then recession. Then recession happened during the stock market crash. And finally depression, which is the stage the United States and Canada are in right now. But the real question is, can we make a recovery? Hello ladies and gentlemen, the past decade has been horrible, but the only thing that left our heads was sports. Let's talk about that. During the past decade, hockey has become a very popular sport with Canada, with 9 out of 10 players being Canadian. The NHL wants to appeal to more Americans, so they put most of their teams in America, like Boston, New York, and Chicago. New York had become the first team ever to win the Stanley Cup in 1928 and came first place in their division in 1930, but were eliminated by the Montreal Maroons four games after. The Blackhawks took the championship of, of 34. Even though there wasn't many Americans, they were the Berries. Alex Levinsky, Carl Voss, and goalie Mike Karakas were the bees knees of American hockey. Baseball was arguably the most popular sport of the Great Depression, bringing hopes to the people. Some of the greatest players of the time are Bob, Babe Ruth, Rogers Hornsby, and Pie Trainer. Boxing was a boxing was a popular sport, so so popular that it boosted radio sales. But some boxers quit because of lack of pay. The greatest boxers include Joe Lewis, Henry Armstrong, and Barney Ross. Get fresh, hot, hot hamburgers at the Goonies Diner on 37 in Maine for the freshest of all sandwiches and salads. And for those hot, hot days, get a milkshake for only 10 cents. Food less than a toonie, you might be loony if you don't eat at Goonies. Yum!